Big up to my virgin 100 Kufis, hit me up and let me know you dropped a new song, be checking it out today, family away, let's go. Y'all know this is the place to be, how to tango farm with your DJ B.O.B., let's get into this 100 Kufis, run things. Family away, let's see what's going on with this. Oh boy, for sale. Ah... Uh, for some reason, I could see pain all over my boy face on this one. I could see pain all on my boy face. The sound like we talking from here. Got something coming from here. But everything mostly speaking from here. The, the structure is from here. But the feelings and the emotions coming from here. Let's go. I can feel it. The beat just giving that off already. You took my motherfucking family away And got the nerve to say you did it as a single mother You let your pride get in the way like we don't need each other Whoa. Deep down inside I really think you wanna see me suffer Deep down inside I do believe you wasn't competition Ah, we got one of those stories, huh? We got one of those stories The female up and took the family from the mind Oh boy, we got one of those again But for a mind to have his kids taken away from him Especially if this dude is a provider Take care of the kids, school fee paid Food in the fridge, whatever they need, clothes on the box, everything straight. You, it's a light switch that goes on inside the mind sometimes when that happens. But yeah. sometimes a light switch don't be a good switch when they get turned. But in the way like we don't need each other. Deep down inside, I really think you wanna see me suffer. Deep down inside, I do believe you wasn't competition. You said I left, like really though, like it was my decision. That shit you did was out of line, but we ain't gotta mention. You like to talk, but just enough that you ain't gotta listen. Ooh. I'm out the picture. And you like to talk so much that you don't even have, you don't even have time to listen. I know a lot of people like that. They literally just actually finished watching a stage play called The Sucker for Love that was actually addressing something like that. Like sometimes some people talk so much. They don't even, not even just fail to listen, but don't even listen to their own words of what they saying to other people. Like, <clears throat> powerful. You wanna see me suffer? It's Deep heavy. down inside, I do believe you wasn't competition. You said I left, like really though, like it was my decision. That shit you did was out of line, but we ain't gotta mention. You like to talk, but just enough that you ain't gotta listen. I'm out the picture, and the kids think it's picture perfect. Because you told them all I can see the tears rolling down his bay eyes, but this video getting me and all feeling some type of way. Our problems when it wasn't working. And then you held that shit against me when I wasn't working. For what is worth is nothing worse than feeling like you worthless. I know it's hurting every time I'm thinking about my daughter. Cause Facts ain't nothing worse than feeling like you worthless, bro. Especially if you trying and you doing your best every day to provide. Ooh, 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 this one getting me feeling some type of way. It's worth it's nothing worse than feeling like you worthless. I know it's hurting every time I'm thinking about my daughter. Cause she don't know how much her dad is really in the corner. Because she only vibe you love from all the shit you bought her. And she Bro, to see a grown mind cry. They say hell hath no fury like a woman scorn, but let me tell y'all now, I'm again when you see a nigga share tears. I can leave it at that. She don't know what love is, and that's the way you taught her. It's like I'm being tortured. You took my family away. Oh, man. Took my motherfucking family away. Ladies, you gotta stop doing this. You took my motherfucking family away from me. You took my motherfucking family away. You took my motherfucking family away. And got the nerve to say that I'm the one that's narcissistic. Being an independent woman, yeah, it's all terrific. But you don't understand the problem when the father's missing. I got so much I wanna say, but gotta word it right. Leave it to Facebook, we all live a perfect life. The perfect kids, perfect house, and the perfect wife. But let's not talk about the times when they heard us fight. The only thing I really want is my son and my daughters. To understand no matter what, I'ma be a supporter. But bro, this song is giving me too much vibes, bro. All the hair on the back of my neck and shit's down there, bro. Cause the hair with this bike guy ain't true. You know, Facebook, everybody is post like the perfect life on Facebook. I always tell people. But even my girl at one point in time, when I tell her, I say, don't be minding people. And they pictures on Instagram and Facebook, babe, because that's all just the good shit what they want you to see. That's the fake, that's the fake smile that people put on when as soon as the camera pull up, they be like, they know how to put on that fake smile for the camera, but they know how to put on that falsified face. 
But when it's all said and done, when the camera go off and that red light turn off, the real demons has come out by the real true self, by don't never believe what you see on Facebook and Instagram when it comes to relationships, because most of it, 90% of it, ain't what it really is. The perfect kids, perfect house, and the perfect wife. The only 10% what you've seen is just the clothes what they're wearing and maybe the hairstyles on their head, but maybe even the facial expressions and the vibes that they're giving off in those pictures ain't real. Well, let's not talk about the times when they heard us fight. The only thing I really want is my son and my daughters to understand no matter what, I'm going to be a supporter. But they don't understand the role of a man is important. I bet none of my kids got me in one of their portraits. I can't force it, but of course it feels really bad. I can tell you about that. It is so important because Tupac said it best. There's no way as best as she can try. She can try the hardest that she wants to. There's impossible for a woman to raise a son to be a man. Did y'all not remember when Tupac said that? That is so true. I could contest that because I grew up in a single mother home. Father never around. As a matter of fact, my, I knew where my daddy was. The only time I would see him is when he, when I grew up at a certain age and I could have started working for myself and I got a paycheck and daddy used to come up and be like, hey, son, you a man or something, whatever, 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 you know. And for years, I used to hold regret for my old man, like hold hatred towards him. But then at the same time, I learned few years ago like about eight nine years ago that hey forgive and for, forgive but don't forget because at the same time if i hold that grudge for him i can carry that on to my kids and i'll be damned if i do that so at the same time i am content my old man i walked up to him and tell him straight and plain to his face daddy you know what i forgive you for everything you did you know because at the end of the day you did the one job you were supposed to do the one job you were supposed to do the only thing you were supposed to do is nothing my old lady the only thing you were supposed to do was come in her because guess what without you she needed something in her to produce me so guess what your job was just to make that connection, nut inside her, get them seeds flowing, and me be the one to get picked out and get fucking birth for her to push out. So at the end of the day, your job was done, big man. Thank you. Everything cool. But I got my old lady. Whatever happens with you, I wish the best for you. Everything. If I could help you, I'd help you. But at the same time, I got to give praise to my old lady, boy. So I know how important it is. And it took me a while, a long while, to really learn how to be a man. I will stand in front of this camera and say, boy, for my younger age... Reckless, mischievous, didn't know what I was doing, just wilding out, really wilding out. Until about nine years ago, when I started hanging around a certain set of people, my mentors and different people, and I started to learn how to really be a man, how to think like a man, and what men do. Now I can say, I understand exactly that bar, what he's saying, like, a man in your child's life, very important, very the first time I heard my daughter say she hate her dad I'm disappointed though, I ain't even really mad I watched you throw it all away, everything we had And it's fucking sad, you took my family away Sorry for the long run guys, but this song just, just brought that up my motherfucking family away Just brought this up, I apologize for that though You took my motherfucking family away from me you Took my motherfucking family away yeah, but like I say, I can't touch on what caused the problem or what happened because I don't know, so I don't want to say who's in the right, who's in the wrong. All I could say is at some point in time, people, let's just be mature about things. And if it is the intent that she just did it just to hurt him or whatever the case would be, any female, if you do things like this to hurt your mind or to hurt the other person just to make them feel some type of way or whatever, stop turning your kids against you. Their fathers, because boy, they need their fathers in their lives. But sons especially need fathers in their lives. Daughters, they need that daddy direction, bro. Someone to guide them against who to look out for, what men to. There's so much different things that come under that umbrella. But all I can say is I hope people just be mature at the end of the day and say, you know what, regardless of how me and him, we feel about each other or the problems that we have, we can't let the kids be involved or be tied down or drained down or mixed up in any kind of way in that we got to keep them out it keep them just balanced level we got to go left one got to go right but at the same time for them let's keep it neutral let's keep it calm let's keep it mature let's keep it adult that's just my five cents on that i don't want to touch on who wrong who right that ain't in my place not my to do but in the meantime between time all i can say is whoever's in the wrong i mean whatever the case may be let's just be adults about things and work shit out because it's never good for the kids at the end of the day so if the main thing is about them let's keep it about them ladies and gentlemen y'all have a great day peace health and wealth y'all stay faithful continue always be grateful peace out y'all